Hello, everybody. We're back again. For some more Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Continuing the playthrough. Tis I, your humble narrator, Storm of Iron. And we're back again. It is Tuesday. Today is Tuesday. Made it through another work day. It's no longer Monday. But, um, aside from that, why don't we dive right into it? Because, and here's the wonderful part about Tuesday, Tuesday is when the wonderful stuff that Rada has gets reset. So, we're going to go check out what he's got. And conveniently enough, he's right over here. This little fella. Contracting you to go stab and murder your way across the countryside. What do you have today? We have a plethora of opals to spend. Do my eyes deceive me? Is this yet another piece of the Berserker armor set? This is the torso of the Berserker armor set. This is exactly the kind of stuff that I want. Although, what's this hammer? I kind of wish they would show actually, the stuff that you buy on, like, a character model. But we already know that we're getting this. That goes without saying. Everything we sell has been time-tested, rather approved. Okay, so, that was 120 opals. And I guess if we wanted to, um... Three days' worth of Rada contracts would get us this hammer. But that's neither here nor there. What do you have uh, to Nope. Leave I the shop. See you later, friend. See you later. And there's a dog to pet. Always pet the dog. That's key. Always pet the dog. Now, let's take a gander, shall we? Inventory. Oh, and then we have to swap over like runes and stuff like that too, but. Oh, we got a Thane's heavy tunic. Let's see what that looks like. Is that it? Oh, it's like a cuirass. Like a chest plate or something. But we want this. <laughs> okay, that's kind of cool, actually. Not gonna lie to you. And now we get to show off the tattoos. <laughs> uh, what else do we have that we can go with this? This. 
because chances are we should equip bear type items. Well, those just look dumb. Those aren't too, too bad. But, like, we've got no upgrades in them, no nothing, so... All of our runes and that stuff. Uh... So we no longer have a bonus on this one. Oh, no, we should. Okay. So two pieces get us the first bonus, and then five pieces get us the second bonus. All right. Our health never really goes that low. But we could also increase our armor when surrounded by more than two enemies. Because I believe we also need matching gloves. Yeah. Okay, so we've got, like... Legit gloves. I suppose those don't look too, too bad, but... Galaglach? However you say that. Actually, what kind of armor set? Hidden ones... Yeah, you know what? To hell with it. Brigandine, Brigandine. Okay, so increase armor when surrounded by two more than two enemies. And this lets us have increased speed when taking damage until you heal yourself up to five times. All right. Now we need to pull runes from stuff. Oh, wow. Okay. That's already fully upgraded, so that's kind of a bonus. Alright. All of these minor runes. Berserker hood, berserker hood, berserker hood. Minor, minor, minor. Fire resistance. Berserker Helm. So we want... Okay, so this is the stuff that is socketed in the Raven Clan armor. So we're going to transfer that stuff over. Melee resistance... And heavy resistance. Okay. Oh, and we should go upgrade that stuff is what we should do. If I have enough materials, that is. I don't know if I do. What have you got for me today? Well, at the very least, I can make this stuff a little bit better.
Oh wow, that looks a lot better. That be all. I would like to no. see what you have in stock. Oh, okay. We definitely have enough material. Not bad. Not bad. Hello, Moya Surfer Dude. I am fantastic tonight. It's quarter past six, where I am. How are you? How's everything going on your end of the world? Ooh, now those gloves look cool. All right. You done? Yes, I am done. Thank you very I'm much. Off. Be well, friend. So long. Actually, you know what? Yeah, I've decided to change things up a little bit uh, because the third piece of the Berserker armor was available from Rada today. May I so see your I'm changing it all over to the bear-oriented or bear-tagged gear. And I kind of... Uh, okay, all right, so all this stuff is kind of upgraded. I'm just going to keep upgrading all kinds of stuff. Yeah, tougher restrictions do not sound like a good time right about now. Scotty's Wrath. Yeah, let's just upgrade all of this stuff. Let's just, let's just throw materials. Throw materials at everything. That be all? Oops. I would like I to keep see hitting what the wrong button. Stuck. You know, um, that wasn't a bad movie. Although I do have to say, I am still a huge fan of the first one with Shia LaBeouf. Ooh. I'm out of carbon. Well, that's that's unfortunate. Um Spears. We don't like shields. And yeah, okay. You know You're what? Done? Yeah. I we'll must take my leave. So long. So now I will transfer yeah, the stones from the other armor to this armor. I will check the vendor to see if she's got any better stuff. Because all I have is like minor runes. The first Transformers is far and above one of the best movies. Um, it depends on the town or the area that you go to. Uh, Massachusetts is actually very interesting. They were one of the one of the places to enact some of the harshest restrictions uh, as far as travel restrictions and various stages of uh, reopening. I don't even know what stage of reopening we're in right now because it may have been rolled back a couple of times. I know that I'm still going to work and <laughs> I certainly hope not to be sent home again to sit here on my hands and do nothing because I just can't really kind of not going to do it. Don't want to do it. To reduce the weight, but we've got runes here somewhere. Those are in the hood. Okay, so the bracers here. Raven Clan bracers. Yep. Socket in the Berserker armor. Berserker armor. 
there, where the hell did he go? Hood, hood, hood. Berserker, berserker. Yeah, um, I was out of work originally for five to, it was right around five to six weeks. And it was at the end of March to the beginning of May. And it was like April as an entire month didn't exist for me. And I am not the type of person that can sit and not go places and do things because I need to find where the hell where this stuff go. I mean, I've effectively been working since I've been like 12, 13 years old, 14, maybe 14 years old. Um, always working over the summers, always working a job, always having a place to go, always getting up early in the morning and going and doing what I'm supposed to be doing. But to not have that, to basically all of a sudden be told that, hey, um, we're going to send you home and eventually we're going to We'll call you back when we, you know, get around to it. Oh, okay. So Raven Clan Bracer is right there. And then Raven Clan Bracers. So it, it it's definitely it's not a good thing. It's not a good feeling. And for me, I just I really wasn't <laughs> It wasn't healthy, we'll put it that way, because I'm just so used to be doing things. Need... Raven Clan breaches. Yep. What the hell? But I mean, I, I do understand that the benefits of staying home are helpful, but also it is a very fine balancing act between what is helpful and the possibility of the additional damage that it can do to one's person. Yeah, I, I just, yeah, I want to be able to, to do what I'm supposed to be doing. I mean, let's see, Brigandine, 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 where is... Berserker armor, Berserker armor. Brigandine trousers, brigandine trousers, hood, hood. Yeah, I had, um, the, the nice thing is I could go out and do things if I wanted to, but when I was laid off, um, there was no place to go. There was no restaurants open. There was no movie theaters open. There was, there was nothing. Nothing was open. Boots. Oh, it never had the last room slot. That's right. Put the, put the boots on and, ah. Buttons. Damn buttons. We want, you know what? 
What do we want for another rune? There's, there's really, they're all like minor runes, so you know what? A little bit of a melee damage, we'll put that in there. So the only, the only times I really had gone out was, um, yeah, you could go for a walk. Uh, a lot of the places around from, like, parks or trails or anything like that, um, there was a lot of that stuff that was open and available and you could go to that, but that's where everybody flocked to. And the idea was to stay away from people or to, you know, put some space in between you and other people. So if you're going to go on a hiking trail or a bike path or something like that and there's just people everywhere, it sort of defeats the purpose. So I would take every now and again, just I would head out and just go for a ride. Take my car out. What have you got for me today? You yes. know you have use what have for you this. got for me? I'm kind of running low on cash. Critical chance, poison. Ooh. I'm almost that was not dead bad. At what a good purchase you've made. And whatever ability damage gives us. This looks practically made for you. Do we have new tattoos? No, I think they're the same ones. Aethi's Blessing. Nothing else? But it's funny that you mentioned Transformers, because that is what my car is. I have a bright yellow Bumblebee Camaro, and it is the Transformers Edition Camaro. Be well, friend. So it's got the Always Autobots emblem pleasure, right on the fender. Okay, so where are we supposed to be going? It was somewhere... Oh, I was going to do whatever this was over here. There's some stuff over there. Yeah, so... When... When Transformers originally came out in 2009, I believe, they had a massive tie-in with General Motors. General Motors supplied all of the vehicles for Transformers. So you've got Jazz, who's a Pontiac Solstice. You've got Ironhide, who's the giant, um, like, uh, Chevy C4500 or the GMC Kodiak. And, you know, you've got all of these iconic Chevrolet General Motors vehicles. And instead of Bumblebee being the, the Beetle, the Volkswagen Beetle that he was in the cartoons, they changed him to a Camaro. Because, you know... Michael Bay, explosions, fast cars. <laughs> and none of those things really fit with a, uh, a Volkswagen Beetle. So, um, they actually, when the Camaro was reintroduced, um, and Relic, absolutely. And I do hope that he does come around my neck of the woods when things actually start happening again. But, um, yeah, when the movie tie-in kind of happened, uh, the Camaro hadn't been built since 2002. So for the 2010 model year, when the Camaro came back out again, they had the tie-in with the movie, which was the Transformers Edition Camaro, which I think um, they made like 1,204 of them uh, with the special trim package. They were all yellow with the black stripes. They had the uh, Transformers in like a ghost logo in the, the front hood stripe. Um, the, the center console armrest had the Autobots logo in it. There's the Autobots badge that's in the fenders. And then there was the, um, yeah, the door sill plate said Transformers in them. And it's just, it, it is. It's awesome. And... Like, to just drive around in something like that. And I didn't realize that I was... I, I only thought it was cool because I thought it was cool. And... Then I went driving around. And 
you pass by a group of kids, and all of a sudden they stop doing what they're doing, or they, they stop, you know, pedaling their bicycles, and they just start pointing, and you see a kid, you know, mouth the words bumblebee as you just go driving by, and you're like, huh? And then you stop and you think about it, and it's like, yeah, actually, that's right. I am driving, I am driving a movie car. I am driving the equivalent of an adult Hot Wheels car, which I'll get into a Hot Wheels Camaro later on, but <laughs> because they actually made the Hot Wheels edition Camaro in 2012, I think it was. It was a special edition blue paint, and it had the Hot Wheels style wheels on them, but that's beside the point. But I mean, that Camaro, that car, for all intents and purposes, was the big kid's transformer. So, it, it, it's cool. It's cool to be able to just drive down the street, and if you're sitting in traffic, somebody pulls up in a pickup truck next to you and goes, hey, that's awesome. It's a blast. It's really a blast. And the, the coolest thing about it is, like, somehow or another, um, my nephew, even before he could figure out what a Transformers was, or what a Camaro was, somehow or another he managed to be able to say Bumblebee. And any time he saw my car, he wanted to go for a ride in the Bumblebee. Well, that's a nice one. That all you need? Exactly. You know, it, it's. I must take my leave. It, so it's just one of those things where it's just like, this is this is cool. This is a cool thing. Hey, greetings, Bard. That face, that scowl. Yes, indeed, you must be the wolf kissed. Oh, your fame and generosity are well known to me. You have a flatterous tongue, Bard. How do you know me? The deeds of the great are Bard stuck in trade. The brave are wealthy, the wealthy are brave. So it goes. How about it, Eivor the Wanderer? Part with a queen's ransom and live on in immortal song? Silver comes and silver goes. The fame of the great endures. Both wise and generous, truly you are history's mightiest champion. Now, <laughs> hold tight while my muse one of the, inspires me. One of the things that did happen on one of the rides that I took just headed from out. Beyond the whale roads from history unknown did the Norse take a stand and now all must atone. Now comes Ava of the ravens with the sun for eyes, trailing a river of blood enough to paint the skies. Oh boy. So come to your fate with a kiss. This bard is not a doing so well. to your throat, the wolf fangs to your shins. For the one blessing and the one curse is to me. The wolf kissed. Your kennings are weak. However, you make up for it with your clever tongue. <laughs> Tis the fate of a bard such as I. We give and we give and we get nothing back. So it goes. Farewell, generous champion. All right, so that that was a thing that happened right there, yeah. Did the Norse but, take a stand, um, and now all must atone. Yeah. Now comes Ava of the Ravens. As I was driving around, one of the one of the times I was kind of, you know, oop, a dog. We gotta stop to pet the dog. I was driving through the small town, and there was this, you know, young kid walking with his old man. You know, probably a younger guy, but the the kid stopped and just started jumping up and down 
Now comes Ava, rob the ravens with the sun for eyes. Trailing a river. Pointing at my car. And it was like, wow. I, I think I just made this kid's day. All right, let's see what we got here. Good day. Yeah, it's always funny that you can pet the dogs in this game. Oh, all this stuff is the same. Huh. I guess I could try to sell some of this garbage, too. Uh, no. None of the dogs in this will actually... Thank you for selling to me. Well, that was a good chunk of change. Um, yeah, none of the dogs in this will actually kind of turn around and... Yeah, all the dogs are friendly. Unless they're wolves who will attack you in packs as you're wandering through the forest. I have customers for this. Yeah. I'm not sure how I feel about that game. It it had a very weird look to it. Um I mean, maybe, maybe I'll pick it up. Maybe I'll check it out. I'm not, I'm not really sure. It, it looked cool, but not really knowing how it all sort of played out. I have use for this. Nothing more. Yeah, her hair's doing weird, funny things. Um, yeah, now her hair's kind of clipping through her face. This is very bizarre. Anything else? Yeah, we're, we're good. Go. We're gonna head out. See you soon. All right. Yeah, that was very bizarre. Okay, where am I even going? Uh, oh. I gotta go here. You know what? Let's make this easy. Let's just, let's just fast travel right there. Okay, yeah, see, I, I was kind of curious about that. Um... The, like, the weird black and white color that the game had, it was all, like, washed out and stuff. But then again, everything that's on his PlayStation 5 looks incredible. Um, I need to get one of those. <laughs> I'm not, not gonna lie to you. And the cool thing about the PlayStation 5, actually, is that I don't I don't have to change anything for my streaming setup. All I have to do is set up the PlayStation and then just simply plug it into my computer. Um, or, well, I just plug in the HDMI cable and it, it's automatically hooked up to my capture card. All right. Battle climbed into the hills. Yeah, there was apparently a very large battle over here. And I'm not quite sure where I need to go. Yeah, um... I like the fact that unlike if I set up a new computer and if I was streaming 
with a computer for various video games and stuff like that. There's all kinds of stuff I'd have to update, transfer over, make sure all the settings are the same. This is legitimately just plug and play. Like, you, you can't get any easier than this. I don't exactly know where I'm supposed to go. Oh. I guess I'm supposed to go over that way. There they are. Yeah. Um, that that's exactly exactly what it is. Um, although the only game that I actually really did ride a horse extensively in was probably hey, Red Dead Redemption Two, because that was a Come massive right. game, and it took absolutely forever to get from point A to point B in that. Help the wounded and get every man's name. We leave none behind. Oh, okay. Here's well met, Eivor Ravendren. Now there's a face I've seen before. Thought of it. We met in Jorvik, the Yuletide Feast. The Yuletide Massacre. I remember. What brings you here? Alf Danyal. He summoned me. Is he near? He was, but the Picts hit us hard. We were separated. Fresh attack from the hills. All right. Let's back. get some more tasty murder Pecs. going. They won't be happy to see the likes of me. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> holidays are never safe. You are one hundred percent completely correct. Holidays, um, huh? and apparently, uh, weddings too. Well, granted, if you're if you're in like Game of Thrones or something, but no games like this. Um, also, another game that I never really rode a horse on, also because the horse mechanics were utterly garbage, was uh, what the hell was it? Skyrim. I hated the horse mechanics in Skyrim. They were just terrible. Alright, clear it with a jump. There we go. Odin, take you all! <laughs> Ooh, these are getting wild. Holy moly. Ah, oh, you took down the big guy. The pigs are just ahead. Uh, that's unfortunate. Are you wounded? And we get two more skill points to spend. Yeah, I have to say, there is a very interesting variety of um, ending moves, so to speak. Oh, what did I... I forgot I opened up something. What is that? Poisonous Powder Trap. 
attaches a small pouch to your arrow that spreads a volatile powder wherever the arrow strikes. Any nearby movement causes the powder to burst into a poisonous mist. Anyone who walks near it is in for an unpleasant surprise. Alright then. But yeah, games like this, I want to... I want to explore and experience the landscape. I want to walk around. I want to... I want to see everything. I want to just... I want to be everywhere and just you know, be absorbed by the landscape, to be just, yeah, to, to truly be a part of the, the game environment itself. <laughs> hey man, it took me a long time to get to 298, and... I'm gonna finish, what do I want to finish? Ability damage. Light resistance or ability damage. Oh, what's this? We could do light bow and heavy damage. Okay. Yeah, there's more stuff that we can still. I live with my men. Okay, wait a minute. That. I believe that put me at 300 power. Yeah, 300. That's kind of rad. Yeah, right there, buddy. You look a little winded. If we die today, tonight we drink with Odin. Either way, we claim victory. So I did start finally watching Forthor! The Last Kingdom. And I have to say, it's not... It's not bad. It's not bad. It's definitely different. Whoa. This guy's a monster. Holy moly. Okay, that was cool. That was very cool. You owe me your life, old friend. Once again. I've done Ragnarsson. We met in the forge of battle. Surely a good sign. I don't know you. One of Faroid's new dogs? I am Eivor of the Raven Clan. Eivor, yes. Down in Mercia. Kingmaker with my brothers Ivar and Uba and Finir in East Anglia. From the tales I hear, I feared you might be taller. That's not a fear you feel often, I imagine. So you answered my summons. <laughs> but the timing is poor as you can see. Too many here are spent, battle saw. Thirsty. Faravid, have your men build field pyres for the dead. At once, my yard. Not here, not now. Then to yeah, I have to say, um, The Last Kingdom, I'm only about two episodes in, two and a half episodes in. I've been you make of him? just awful about trying to catch up with, um... What I think doesn't matter. I'm interested in what his men think of him. Is he honest, trustworthy, loyal? Is that why you've got All right, that's pretty funny. <laughs> that's trust? pretty awesome. To find a seat at his table? I have my own table. What I want is a bond of friendship between the new lords of England. Among whom you count yourself, I suppose. It is an ally I seek, not a master. Well, there is but one lord of Northumbria. All right. Yervishire arc started. You heard the the sayings of Hafton. So I need to go meet Hafna, Haf, Hafton Ragnarsson. Um, somewhere. But yeah, um, I had watched... Well, I guess I'll 
I'll fast travel there. I'll make it easy. Yeah, so I'm only about two, two and a half episodes in, so I haven't really gotten a full flavor taste. Or no, maybe I'm three episodes in. Um, but some of the stuff that happens in The Last Kingdom is so dramatically different um, from Vikings. Vikings just seems grittier. It seems dirtier. It seems much darker uh, cinematically as well as a lot of the subject matter that kind of surrounds it. Uh, the Last Kingdom seems... Well, it's, it's filmed differently. It's got a different feel and a different vibe to it. And that's not a bad thing either. It's, it's just, it's different. It's a, it's a, it's definitely a different show, but it, it's also nice because it has, um, it almost has more explanation to it, more, more context for the reason why they're doing the things that they're doing to watch the very first episode where the Vikings create the shield wall and the the dude gets just caught up between the two of them. It's amazing just to, to watch all of that happen. My boat's awesome. I have the Jotunheim boat. It has all that frost just kind of flowing right off of it. It's a damn fine boat. I do like how you can configure the 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 um, the giant figurehead of the boat. You can. You can change the flags, which in turn change what the shields have on them. All kinds of stuff. <laughs> that was a wolf. I don't know if the Battle of... Uh... Where would Hafton Jarl hold court? There's apparently thing. and snakes. All right, I never would have known that was there. All right, now we have to go find Hafton. Who's going to be somewhere around here? <laughs> when in doubt, climb. Ah, uh, there's the Raven Banner again. And apparently... Up further? Yes, up further. Okay. As Thor swallowed the oceans, I can lift many horns. Let's get into a drinking competition. A bold claim. I'll drink to that. <laughs> These are fun. These are so much fun. And even the flighting you can get into. Okay, so this is only three. How the hell? 
Keep going, dude. Ah. Ah, uh, no, keep going. Ah, drink it, don't wear it. All right, oh, there's four. Okay. It's all about consistency. Keep going, buddy. Keep going. Ah, uh, this isn't going to work. Damn. He got me. Ugh. <laughs> uh. We're gonna have to try that again because I, I definitely could have uh, I, I could have done that better. The drinking competitions in this are very interesting because it's about timing, and you want to hit the button right when it touches that outer ring. All right, so let's see. Here, Dane. Try a look at throwing bones. Throwing bones, you say? No. No, we, we won't do that. We'll crush them in spring. No sooner. That's Why am I on top yeah, of the chandelier? Will suffer day by day. Your people. Do you rule a shadow kingdom under my nose? Our people suffer from there we go. brutal winter raids. All right, Hafton. Must end. That is my what do you have to concern. say for yourself? The time to strike is, is when I say we strike. Hafton's hammer protects this land. Tell my people that, King Rishia. As you wish, my lord. Who is this? Come closer. Havdan Ragnarsson. My sword arm answers your call. Thank you for your tribute, Eivor Wolfkist. Your battles and deeds are well known to me. And you are the hero of Jorvik. So sing my scalds. Not just any hero. Eivor brought order to the city when King Rishie could not. They say you rooted out a gang of thieves and traitors. Not alone. But I led the charge. You gifted my silver to the calls and chills of Jorvik. To men and women who needed it most. A foolish choice. The coin never left King Rishia's treasury. I try never to regret the decisions I make in a time of war. Agreed. To second guess ourselves would only stall the victory. I don't regret sending Faravid to lead our strike against the Picts. In spite of Eivor winning the day. Eivor and I felled them, Hafton Jarl, so you could sweep in, stab a few cold corpses, and claim a glorious victory. <laughs> <laughs> Old friend, your jest hit like Odin's spear. Oh, Always this is too the funny, mark. these two. I would not be here without your hammer, Great Jarl. Please accept this, your share of the loot we won today. You know, it's funny. A thing of beauty. Hmm. Frankish, I believe. What do you think, Eivor? What do I think? Wine goblets of a Roman Neolus. Give me a horn of mead any day. There's wisdom in this one, Faravid. 
by your leave, Lord, I must return to my forward camp. So, Ferevid in this actually looks like uh, King Harold's brother from the Viking series. My lord, in your summons, you said... Shh. Not here. Not now. Dance, sing, and fill yourself with ale, and meet me atop this tower of stone. There I will weave a tale of friendship and treachery. Look at the eyes. Look at the way the eyes the move. Hafton will only speak in private. He mentioned a variety of feast activities. Please, Lady Moira. My wife grows it. Are you a nun? I thought nuns dressed like geese. Nothing of the sort. I am Moira of Weka, Hafton's herbalist. He is an ill man, and I do what I can to give succor and hope. I saw him fight. He was in fine health then. Thanks in part to my soothing tonics. Would you pardon me? Please. I already don't trust her. My wife grows ill. I will attend to her soon, I promise. But Hafton needs me now. She's probably going to see Hafton and he's going to become ill. And she's going to miraculously save him. I don't trust her. Don't trust her one bit. All right, where is... You! Care to test the speed of your fist? Yes. Yes, it's fighting time. We always like the fighting time. Fisticuffs, Queensberry rules. Fair warning, Joe. My fists have hammered nails and strangled sharks. Still care to brawl? Swift and strong you may be. It's the one most righteous who wins the fight. You don't say. That was a bizarre fighting style. You fought well, warrior. But here your legend ends. Bound to no I have never actually had mead before, so... Excuse me, pardon me. Coming through. Hello. I do have a really cool mug that is made of um, like a giant horn. Well, Ignatia. it's not exactly a, it's ah, it's a mug, Eivor. but it's made of like have missed your wit animal the horn. Council. I attend in spirit. Would you lend us your wisdom now, if possible? We are at pains to determine how to deal with the northern Picts. Meet iron with iron. That is the way. And this feast is how the Danes prepare their blades. We fought well and won. Tomorrow we'll fight again. But we must always make time for celebration. I defer to your expertise. Hacking, hewing, and the like. Enjoy the feast, Counselor. How true. I shall send a strongly worded note in protest. Uh, but, sir, I'm told Hafton can read. <laughs> what? All right, where was this drinking competition again? But Faravid is the one out there fighting. Where the hell? a gold thing on the map. Of course. Hmm. 
Well, how do we get on the other side of that? to figure that one out. Oh, okay. What's this? Aha! Here we go. And we will help ourselves to another person's treasure. <laughs> because isn't that what being a Viking is all about? Yeah, it's probably a good thing when, um, <laughs> when awful videos lose themselves to the sands of time. That's where the drinking is. Let's try to best this fellow. Why can't I? Huh. Not letting me. My luck overspills like the ocean's tide. Only fate will keep me from winning. Then come and see. What fate do these dice hold for you? God favors. What are we doing? God favors are powerful blessings granted in return for a offer. They can be greatly influenced. You can pick up to three to play a game. Defeat new... Oh, okay. What do we got here? V, there's might. Might as well. Heads or tails? Let's try to play this ridiculous game again. dice. Alright, so deal one, block one, deal arrow, block arrow. Tokens are used as offerings to invoke god favors. Okay. Select the dice to keep Okay, let's see what this does. This whole game is so confusing to me.
not exactly the most... So, I don't have enough... Might as well. All right, so that wasn't horrible. The, this game is, it's kind of straightforward and it's kind of not. Um, the idea is to do enough damage to take down all these, um, like the stones represent your, it's like, it's like a game of magic with dice. But I've managed to do basically no damage to him. Uh, skip. Wow, he's got a lot of god favors on this time. Alright, so I am ahead... ...by life only by a single point. So essentially, I need to start doing more damage to him. So the shields wow. block axes. Oh, crap. The shields block axes and the... You know what? Might as well just keep them all. The shields block axes and the helmets block arrows. And this is going to sting slightly. Um, deal two damage or remove, you know what, we're going to go two damage and he's going to get additional dice, which that's not cool. Ooh, that stings a little. But all is not lost because we're close. So basically, I just have to drain him of his life before he drains mine. Uh, might as well. Interesting. Let's see what this does. So, he's going to select a God's favor. I'm going to have to deal. Oh, are you kidding? Yeah, I don't think I'm going to win this game.
Oh boy. Yeah. He's going to... So I can either remove a helmet from him, which won't work, or do more damage. You blow from death now, stranger. So he got me. It's a very bizarre game. You know what? I'm going to do that again because with more um, with more god favors, you have different means of Orlok. winning the game. As a player in every port and city. Aye, what and the game you? itself is called Orlog. Let's go a few rounds. Let us play. Excellent. Let us not tarry. So, yeah, okay. We'll go tails. And it's heads, so he gets to go first. So the idea is just simply, yeah, um, we earn favor tokens by the red border dice, and that's what generates the, like, special ability stuff. So, we will do two axes to his two helmets, because the helmets... No, the helmet's blocked. Crap. Yeah, the helmets block axes, the shields block arrows. And then the little hand icon takes one of the god favor tokens from your opponent. Uh, yeah, I'll try that. All right, so not terrible but not exactly supremely beneficial. for damage. No, no, <laughs> All no. the axes in. This will do. Um All right. Let's see where this gets us. God favors. Do I have four? I have four. So we'll do some additional damage. Okay. So he gets two tokens. Blocks that. Does that. He does only two damage to me. Just what? Just basically overpower him with damage? Okay, perfect. See? Yep. We are way ahead of the game on this one. We'll do one. And then confirm.
it's, you know, I've only played this like a handful of times, so. See, he's going to be able to regenerate more life with his tokens. But if I can simply just overpower... Oh, God, I'm not getting any favor tokens here. So yeah, to hell with it. I'm just going to I'm just going to try to overpower them with um interesting. Hmm. This isn't going to go so well this round. Well, okay. It could be worse. Uh, I got a skip, and he's using for each block. So three. Uh, unbelievable. See what that gives us. Damn it. Okay. So, I mean, he's probably going to use. Aha. That I will make use of because that will eliminate his two. Ooh, this is good. All right. Now we're back in the game again. Arrow, axe, axe, axe. Not exactly, uh, crap. And yeah, he's gonna use the, the health per block. But at least he's only got one block. My game, stranger. Just give up. Damn it. Okay. So let's see if this is the last round because I've got no way of regenerating health like he does. This will do. Oh, 
All right. So, we are going to eliminate these two shields. I take two. He takes four. All right. Ah, uh, sweet victory. Got it. Got it, got it, got it. Shall we go again? No, that I'm good. All for now. All right, so I have Freya's plenty. Fantastic. Yeah, that was. Um, these are very interesting games, and the pieces definitely make a difference as to what you end up using and going with. All right, is he above me? He's still above me. Dogs do not beg for silver. Dogs do not yearn to be yards. But I am a wolf. No. Yep, but... A wolf? Ah, Eivor. Come, let me show you a wonder. I hate characters that walk around and make it impossible for you to click on them to talk to them. All this. We conquered this, he and I. Together! You have earned great fame, won many battles across England. But not alone, no, no. Bjorn Ironside, fearless Uber, Ivar the Boneless, Sigurd Snake and I, great warriors all, my brothers. Gold is good, and battle better, but glory never dies. Forever it lives in the Hall of Heroes. Moya Surfer, dude, have a fantastic rest of uh, your night and into Together tomorrow. I hope everything goes well for you. And friends, thank you for stopping clan. by. And thank you for talking. For all others. One sword is not an army, Eva. Even a hero needs loyal friends. I have never lost sight of that. Never. Have you room for one more among those you call friend? Lotor, how are you this evening? What does friendship mean to you, Eivor? Okay, this is how I think I step on my words. Friendship is sacred. It is but a word. You talk in circles. He's got to get to the point. It, it, somewhere. Uh... Friendship goes beyond words. It's a solemn bond, a chain unbroken. Spoken like the Voler, it is indeed a kind of magic. You wriggle like an eel in a basket, Hafton. What has caught you? Friendship can also spoil like rotten meat. After all these years, he dares to bite my hand. Faravid, he seems a good and loyal man. Seems, yes. As a bright sky in winter seems warm. But rumors fly of little men plotting treason in the dark. Have you proof of his treachery? Not yet. That is where you enter my saga. Prove this for me. Discover if Faravid has been disloyal. Then we shall talk of oaths. Okay. Start me somewhere. Give me something to go on. You see this? From a sea unicorn. I filter my mead and wine with it. I've heard of such beasts. They swim below the ice, beyond the world's edge. And their horns protect against poison. A sea unicorn. You believe unicorn. wants to poison you? I fear he has tried. 
countless times, and failed them all. You don't believe me, but I know the man. His gifts of wine, his easy smile, his envy, his plots. This guy just reads as paranoid. Dig up. <coughs> Unearth his trees. Why trust me with such a task? Aha. Yorick, you stopped the ill deeds of Audun and his swarm of rats. We can do the same here. Okay, like this all but makes sense now. Honor has two edges. I'll help you. Faravid has left the feast already, heading for his camp upriver. I don't feel Join that it's Faravid. And behind his back, dig. And if I find nothing, if he's a good and loyal man. Even better, even better. Fair enough. I'll find what I find, then return, my friend. Yeah, Don't let he's. Don't fool you. He is hiding something. There is, um. There is strangeness afoot. So find and speak to Feravid. Camp is near the southwestern border of Yervishire. Well, that's interesting because we met Hafton's herbalist. Okay, so we're... Here. Alright. Finding evidence of Feravid's alleged treachery. So... <laughs> oh, that's awesome. <laughs> it's almost like they made this for me. All right, let's go see if we can find Feravid. <laughs> Why is this land all of a sudden shrouded in fog? Swampy. Oh, another fast travel location. Good. All right, let's keep pushing. You know, that entire series is a fantastic series, and that's the type of thing that it's just, you put it on, and you kick back, and you just, you experience it. The elves always come across as just jerks, like snooty jerks. Like they, they do what they need to do, but at the end of it, they're just snooty jerks. Ooh. Look at the sky. Look at this landscape.
All right, so we have to find his camp. I need your eyes, my friend. <laughs> you know, you're not wrong. <laughs> you're you're not wrong, Lotor. No! Oh, you're not. <laughs> That must be fat of its camp ahead. Cold and dirty must be the place. Oh, that's right. I forget to upgrade. All right, it's probably a good thing I haven't gone into any protracted battles. You bastard! I am not a dog. Yet here you are, barking again. Because we beg for scraps from Haftan's table, like dogs. Far away. Huh. Ah, Eivor, my friend. Is Donacaster hospitality to your liking? I would be careful calling this one friend, Faravid. The crow who comes flapping when Haftan gives a whistle. Haftan and I spoke, and what of it? This is our fight, our chance for glory. Fly on home, crow. Lend me a knife, Faravid. This whelp needs gelding. Ofer, piss off. Small men always talk big. So was Hafton generous? Did you get what you came for? If I help with your fight against the Picts, huh. Afton will consider me a friend. So point the way, Falavid. The Picts raided that monastery, plundered its silver and gold. The Saxons build more churches than barns and fill them remember. with herds of monks. There's yes, so many actors in that movie. Monasteries make tempting targets, and not just for us. We tracked Pictish raiders heading north. Gold is fine, but victory is our treasure. What's your plan? To open their bellies with my knife. I'm ready to fight. Let's put them in the ground. Hoftan didn't send you north to fight a skirmish we could win with half our numbers. Why are you here, Eivor? Hmm. Let's just speak plainly. In truth, he doubts your loyalty. Fears your heart is not in this fight. Doubts my loyalty? I have fought for Hafton. Killed for Hafton. Bled. For Hafton, and he doubts me. Nothing I have seen gives me reason to doubt you. But Hafton, he seems a cautious man. Cautious. He was always leery, but now fear has gnawed him down to the bone. To arms, dogs! Let's roast some pigs! Yeah! Watch for ambushes! I should have stayed in Donacastre. More mead, fewer picks. There's no glory in guard duty. Move out! The picks All right. are just ahead. Lead the way and we'll watch your back. I don't even kind of know where I'm supposed to be going here. Escort Faravid and his men. Let's just slaughter them. Exactly, no. They spotted us! Come forward! Faster! Faster! These Picts are a sneaky lot. Masters of guile and ambush. Have a care. You're finished! 
He has a good bowman. I'll give him that much. Actually, this guy's quite the capable swordsman. We watch together. Okay, where to now, dude? can't even see anything in this fog. Treasure of Britain. Okay, which means this is going to get slightly involved over here. Thank Thor we made it. That was good war work, all. All right, so I'm coming up on just shy of two hours, and I think not going to go too, too late tonight. So what I'm going to do is put a pin in it here for now, because if I start this, this is going to take probably forever, because these things get fairly involved. So, um, it might not have been a long night, but th there has been stuff that has happened. We've, we've substantially changed up our gear, which I still need to actually take care of upgrading the rest of it. And then... Uh, we started on a new arc and encountered some very interesting characters so far. Um, so with that in mind, we're going to wrap it up here for now. When is the raid reset? Because I don't even remember anymore. Like the, the weekly. It's been so long since I've done anything Warcraft related. Related. But yeah, this is where we're gonna. This is where we're gonna kind of wrap it up for now. Tuesdays, yep, that's right. Tuesdays were the update days, and then after the updates, the raids reset. Gotcha. Thank you. All right, guys. Everybody, thank you very much for joining me again. Uh, it's always a pleasure talking to all of you, and. I greatly appreciate everybody hanging out, everybody talking back and forth. And if you haven't hit that follow button, hit that follow button. And if you want to throw me a sub, you can even do that too. But you don't have to do that. Um, just come hang out. Have a good time. Let's talk about all kinds of cool stuff. Uh, it gives me something else to do while I'm doing cool stuff in the game. Because <laughs> I can get mighty sidetracked in the game. But, um, yep, this is Storm of Iron once again, continuing the Assassin's Creed Valhalla fish. playthrough. Uh, Relic, have a great night. Thank you very much for joining. Lotor, thanks for popping by. And, um, yeah, we'll catch everybody, um, maybe tomorrow. We'll see what happens. All right, take care, guys. Ah!